Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I need to tell you this story. I absolutely need to tell you this story. I've started and stopped this story three times. Um, so my ordination was amazing, and I got hundreds of cards and gifts from all kind of people. I will tell you, delicious, amazing, wonderful gifts. What really set my heart on fire um, before I even opened anything was the number of people who brought food and laundry detergent and gave money to Emmaus House to help them keep running and do well. And that is so much to me. It means so much. I got hundreds of gifts and cards. Um, fortunately, you all did listen to me and send money to a mayor's house with this upside down. It's looking kind of crazy behind me. Sorry about that. But I was looking at this and it was like, what? So anyway, um, I brought all my gifts in the room so that I would have to trip over them or open them. Because if you know me, you know that I can hold a gift for a year before opening it. Why? Because, you know, there are days that are harder than others. When you live with a chronic illness, there are days that are harder than others. And you have these wonderful treats to open. And people who know me know that about me. They know that that's going to happen. They expect it of me. And people who know me only through the story page Expect me to be just like everybody else sometimes, to get a present, you open it, you write a thank you card that day. <laughs> I, 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 I haven't been able to do that. Tammy Willis Thomas, who's in the story group, said, why don't you just do a post and tell everybody thank you for everything? And I said, no, because I'm telling you right now, people expect a conversation around their thing. And she said, no, they don't. Just say thank you. And I said, okay. Um, but I, I've heard from some folks who are looking for their cars. <laughs> now, ironically, the, the grand, beautiful Southern women who write amazing thank you cards have all said to me, consider this your second present and don't send me a thank you card because I know you got lots to do. Um, and of course they know me, they see me in person, um, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I have, I want to send cards because they are marvelous. Um, they're probably not going to say that much because it's hundreds of them. But I do want to tell you thank you um, now here while I'm getting to the notes. Um, the dogs are now sleeping downstairs also in our major renovation, which means I can't get up early, early in the morning like I would and go out there and work. Um, I have places where I work. This is just rambling. So please know that I'm extremely grateful. I don't take anything for granted. And I know that people's heart and intention, especially the shadow boxes and the collages. What? Thank you so very, very much. I'm going to stop rambling because this is my 66th time trying to tell this story. I love you.